about well, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, me, you need to man, train. I've you need to come train with me, man. Yeah, I was gonna say that. You know, you look like you lost weight, bro. That's it. You need to come train with me, man. Yeah, like, I'm trying to lose some weight, man. <laughs> yeah, I need to put on like two more stones. Bro, like, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Meant to be for summer time, summer time. Yeah. Halfway through, much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, like, it feels like it just started though. If I'm honest, yeah, yeah, summertime, yeah. innit? Yeah, I think since the festival started, that's when. That's it feels when it. Like, yeah, the wireless and yeah, Glastow yeah, yeah. and that. Yeah, it feels like summer because you know wireless just happened. Glastow be happened. Murky fest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My birthday's next month, so that's gonna be lit. Cheers, bro, that's that's <laughs> literally the, yeah. listen, that is literally event of the summer. I'm Where was the you, invite though, man? Event of the summer. Trust no, me, it's no coming. invites. It's man, coming, man. I got a big, <laughs> I got a big, I got a big, um, a big year. Well, big year next year, man. Because I'm getting married yeah. next year, right? Next year, yeah. Next year, oh, yeah, yeah. Congrats, yeah. man. So I'm about, um, you know. How long you been engaged for? Our time, bro. Because I'm trying to, bro, no, because time, I'm gonna, bro. you know what I mean. Soon yeah, yeah, I'm gonna there, catch yeah. up, but I'm trying to think. How long is it between engage and wedding? Like? Well, look, we got engaged last September. So That's not that bad. Nah, Two, but three years. within a year, they they want to be like, okay, cool, what yeah. are you doing, bro? But like, there's no pressure, in it, no rush, like. So when you're engaged, I think two, three years maximum, innit? Some people wait like yeah. five, five yeah, years. Yeah, some people, you know what it is? Like, on the real, like, how long have you been with your missus? I've been now? with her uh, five to six years now. I mean, look, she's done her time. Man. Yeah, she, yeah she, she's, she's, she's earned that ring, effort, yeah. I say, I used to say that to my missus because my boy, he's been with his girl like eight years and then they For got real? married. Yeah, yeah. And I go, to be fair, babe, she's done her time, innit? Like, you have to, <laughs> like, you have to How long, how long was you together We've been you together um, three and a half, four years in in, uh, in March. That's, so that's why we want to yeah. try and do the wedding and stuff. But um, I'm liking this retirement life, you know? I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, come on, same. I'm out of the game, bro. It's, it's Focus, so much, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what it is? It's so much less stress. 100%. Because yeah. it's, I'm telling you, bro, you need to get on this. Oh, for real? What? Let's get this, what, single life? Okay, okay. I respect single life as well. Men went through that, but like there's no focus like when you're mm. with a good woman yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's got your back. Like, mm. man, it's focused and on the ball, like ready see for that, anything. See that in people, innit? Yeah, like, you know them ones? I was in a relationship for a while, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I feel like I'm back. Some people feel more better. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but then you weren't with the right partner. Yeah, you know yeah, them ones? Like when you find the right one, I think you'll know, bro. Yeah, she helps you with the glow up, hundred yeah, percent, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with me as well, it's like now I'm focusing on myself. I don't think. Yeah. I think females they need a lot of your attention, a lot of your time. They do, yeah. yeah so yeah. I reckon at this moment in time, I need to kind of all my time needs to be on me. You feel a bit. What's the next pattern? Yeah. Uh, mentally. That's I true. think that's important as well because yeah. there's a lot of people who are getting involved in relationships and they don't really know yeah, themselves. Really yeah, know. yeah. First. You need to, like you're saying, like focusing on your mental health, focusing mm. on your career, all those yeah. sorts of things. One, and you notice once you start focusing on those things which are important to you, building yourself as a person, you yeah. always, always attract women. Yeah. Like I think attracting women is never an issue. No. Right. But I think it's just when you go out looking for it, it's mm. different. Yeah. But the more you work on yourself, the more. Like the quality of, of women you're attracted is important, which yeah, yeah. will factor into that as well. That's you know? facts. Yeah. 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 Relationships now I'm seeing they like they last months. Uh, yeah, I don't think mad. people are really about this now. Though. Yeah, it's like, about you know this era now. This yeah, year, it's the same. Up, like, yeah. oh, they're gonna get into relationships that I say the Love Island era. They're gonna get into short term <laughs> relationships true. and stuff like that because <laughs> they don't really know themselves. They're a bit young. Mm. You know, you know, the social media era, they go into this world. Or this yeah. couple goals thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah but it's, 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 it's yeah. not like that. I think, you know, it is you need to, I think a lot of them try to feel a void almost. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you shouldn't do that. I always, I don't know, for me personally, like I, I know people who, who feel incomplete if they're not with someone. Yeah, but I've just so, never yeah. been like that. Nah. I just think that I just work on myself and like if things happen, they yeah. happen. But same, yeah. you know, it's a journey that you have to go on yourself and then that woman has to add to that. Yeah. 100% add that's, that's, that's the key, yeah. Because yeah. your... it's, it's, yeah, you need someone like, because you'll notice as well, like you're saying, yeah. she just motivates you differently. Yeah, Because yeah. you realise that you're not, like, working or working on something for yourself is to uplift both of both you. Both of you, yeah, that's the key. I'm saying. And yeah. I, I did watch, um, yeah. where was I watching of yours? I think you did an interview before and you were talking about yeah. uh, your missus influencing the, you. And was going it that Amaro Donald? Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Going through, like, a hard time. and She how, came how right you. at the right perfect time. Like, she turned my whole life around, bro. Like, if mm. it weren't for her, then mentally I probably would have been in the next place. I don't know where I would have been. Mm. But just coming off the back of, like, moving back into London, um, I just remember at that time, my, my mental place was just mad. I was just all over the place. Mm. Um, you know, then I was drinking, partying, 
um, not happy, negative, not confident. I think confidence was a big thing as mm. well. But she came at probably my worst, really. Yeah. And mm. she, you know what I mean? She came in my life, turned out around. She said, babe, like, when you're going to these parties, make sure you're confident. You know who you mm. are, like. Mm. You know them ones uplifting yeah, yeah, yeah. me. And, yeah, like, if it went for her, like, she actually brought me back to that place. Like, like you said, the glow up. up. Yeah. yeah. And then, whenever, I see her, whenever I see her about, she's by yeah. her side, I see she's, that love there. Like, yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, my, she's yeah. my Bonnie and Clyde, like, she's my partner in crime, she's my other half, literally, yeah. yeah so. And that's the thing as well, when you're, that's when you know you meet the right one, because yeah. when you can just do anything with them. Yeah, you know, yeah. And it's best not, friends. Yeah. yeah, it's literally, all these cliches yeah. and stuff, it's legit, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I hate to be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, your best friend, and all this yeah, kind of shit. Yeah, but, but it's real. It's, yeah, it's a hundred, like, because then you just... And to be honest, you're not even bothered about other girls, isn't it? Because nah. when you really deep it, if you've got everything from that one person, you don't really need anything from someone yeah. else. Yeah, and then yeah, what yeah. happens if you're not going to risk like a nah. slip up, let's say, yeah, with yeah. someone just for something for you're that, getting already? Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it goes back yeah. to that communication as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Because a couple's yeah. communicating. It's important. Like, yeah. really Maybe that's why the new, uh, new school relationships ain't well, working because yeah, they're not yeah, even communicating. Talk. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's facts, you know? It's my yeah. Well, I'm trying to like me. I'm I'm trying to like work with a few people. If I see they they've mm. got potential, I like to yeah, yeah, like yeah. school them. There's a guy like, I'm looking yeah. after at the moment. I just tell him, look, you need to think about this. You need to consider this. Just tell mm. him about like like you're saying, getting your finances up, getting like yeah. knowing how to deal with women, knowing to, how to deal with yourself. Yeah, Do you know what I'm seeing them taking uh, care of your mental health. Like I said to him the other day, I go, you got to remember, man. No matter how much you say to people, this is my guy, this is my guy, this is my guy, mm. you know who your real guy is, is you, bruv. Yeah. You're number one, innit? Yeah. You've got your boys and everything, but you're number one, innit? Yeah. So you come first. Yeah. And it's not in a selfish thing, it's just that... No, yeah. You, because it's, it's just human yourself. nature. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. going to look after themselves first. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's, it's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's important, man. Definitely. It's crazy, man. But you know what it is as well? It's, um, because... Like now, obviously, this would be quite good because you're 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 single. We're both in relationships. Um, do you feel like it takes a special person to be involved with someone who's a creative or an artist? Because you're not working nine to five. You're not mm. doing a job like you. Got yeah. so like you're saying, you're touring most of the time. Yeah. How she's, how does that affect your relationship? Nah, she's calm, man. She, you know, at the start, she came to most of my gigs. Like you said, whenever you see her, she's out or whatever with me. Um, nowadays she's a, like she can't really handle the late nights too much you know mm. them ones because it's long like being on the road too much is mad long yeah. and tiring but she just cool she, she knows that I'm out to I'm getting paid I'm out working yeah, yeah. I'm trying to build an empire for us you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah. It's not, I'm not just out here messing around um, and she, she if, if girls ain't all around going crazy in the club for me, she mm. thinks, like, what's going on, babe? Like, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, why ain't they going, yeah, why ain't they going Matthew? Because she knows that's my <laughs> bread, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's how I make money. Mm. I guess maybe because she met me in the middle of my relationship, mm. in the middle of my career, it wasn't like at the start. Mm. Maybe yeah, it would be it'd have been a diff- bit different, but she already knew what I was doing and, you know mm. what I mean? How hard I work, so she yeah. She came at the right time. She respects it, man. Yeah, because you know what? Sometimes you get... They don't understand it Yeah, sometimes. they don't understand it. And yeah. on top of that, sometimes they want the nice things, but then they don't... Want they still you want to you be. to be there. Yeah. You can't do you can't both, do really. That. Yeah, I do. a lot of my guys talk about that still. <laughs> like, it's a certain maturity yeah. from, from a woman to understand that. Yeah, yeah for real. You know, a lot of women might kick off from the simplest, simplest of things. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, in a way, I've been brought up as well. That's a big thing for me. I'm aware. Mm. Like my dad used to work a lot. Yeah, and my mum knew. Like that's that's the deal. Like that's he has it. to work. Like for us to sit here and live here in or this, do whatever, go, and go on here. holidays. Yeah, like yeah. Just, he just has to do it. She's alright with that. She but understood. Then, you just you need to make sure you still like when you are with her. You make her feel special. Yeah, and yeah, it, and that's that's it. a key thing as well. Like I, I work hard, but at the same time, I make sure I fit in time for my relationship a lot mm. like mm. I, I, it's probably like 50 50 even though it looks like i work mad hard mm. i spend a lot more time with the missus as well and mm. we do proper nice things and you know what i mean at mm. the same time you got to treat her if i go away i bring sure i bring her something back you know them yeah, ones yeah, like a little teamwork. gift it's teamwork it's yeah nice. so and they appreciate the little things man like, yeah it's yeah. you think i was having a discussion the other day you mm. think it's the big things but it's really really not it's the little things you think it's the big and expensive things it's fully not no. it's like the littlest things yeah, yeah. it's just a thought behind it. Yeah. If you put thought in behind it, then they're yeah, usually okay. They love that, yeah. As long as you're not lost in the sauce, you know. Oh, yeah, that's it, man. About them, you're in 
include in them. They feel a part of the yeah, world, yeah, the journey. Like you said, they still feel a part, the of, part of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're just away working mad for like two, three yeah. weeks, no interaction with them or nothing yeah, is yeah. mad. Oh, that looks that's dodge. No, can just disappear for nah, days on You have to talk nah, bro, FaceTime, nice. and, you know, yeah. there was. You got it, man. But I think you know it's um it's important to yeah it's important to look after them when you're there when yeah. you're not there and just making them feel special. They understand. And to be honest with you. Uh, to be with like I can I could never now go and like I don't know work a nine to five because it's not what yeah, I want to do. Yeah, same, and same. even if I sometimes I took a job before to just to like you know when you get those periods of Patches, up and down yeah, for work yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so I took a job and stuff, and she's like, "All right, well, don't get too focused on that. Yeah. Don't like make it." Uh, like work for you don't let it work for them because yeah. for you this is just temporary don't yeah. you know what you really want to do it. Yeah, yeah don't let them suck I back that. into it because yeah. otherwise because you just won't be happy at the end of the day and she'll see that yeah I couldn't do I couldn't do a 9 to 5 man like mm. and like you said there's the times when things ain't the greatest the times like shows ain't rolling in or mm. you know what I'm saying but yeah I couldn't do it bro like that ain't what I want to do at all like it has to unless it's like like working at a label or something yeah, yeah, I couldn't do anything that ain't music related yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah that's ones, what you like, were saying it. yeah because you know what it is as well I think a lot of people don't especially if it's some, not in the sector people don't really understand it in the same way yeah 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 it's crazy I think it's got to be something as well that like once you get to a certain stage in your life you only want to do what you're interested in yeah you know, yeah. To do yeah I wouldn't no yeah 100% because it's yeah I just yeah it's crazy you can't go and like work in something you don't want to do no. especially now at this age you can't go and work like in a in a retail shop and take orders from someone who's like 18 as your manager yeah. and you're like this is just, <laughs> this is just stupid nah, like, it's like, too much, like yeah. I don't want to put the work in because I don't want to be here yeah. mentally they ain't going to supplement you, you know? yeah nah. of course no nah. what's well, like you say to me as well you're around creative people all the time you know yeah. when you're like working with, with guys at YouTube space and stuff like that <clears throat> it motivates you more yeah, man, because yeah. everyone's doing their thing, man. It's good mm. to even just talk to people that are in other fields. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just and being I'm, around them, yeah, man. Yeah, around. I get like that as well. When I'm around other creatives, younger or my age group, like that, just, that inspires me and motivates me to go mm. even hard. Like, trust me, yeah. Yeah, because your real friends as well and colleagues or whatever you want to call them, they want you to win as well. Yeah. Brav, I went to my boy's wedding, like, last year or something. Yeah. Brav. There was a lot of this my guy, my guy business, but it was like all, it was all like legit. It was yeah. all just like, because they've seen it, like these have been my friends for like 10 plus years. Yeah. So yeah. they've seen journey. the journey yeah. and the struggle and the success and the downfall. And, and I've gone to them when I felt a little bit yeah. uh, like demotivated and mm. they're like, look, you just got to keep on doing it. And it's, it's, it's a support network, 100%. Like yeah. I'd say my number one fan is my dad. My number yeah. one fan is just like, yeah. Fetching yeah. in, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, like, all yeah. you need here and there's a little bit of luck, and yeah, I yeah, respect man. that. Yeah, because no, definitely. You need to understand the team, man. Most definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. Part it's of true. the team, man. It's like people around you, like mm. your family, yeah. you know, your misses, yeah. mm -hmm. situation. Um, yeah, everyone's got a supplement. What we're doing, you got to supplement what they're doing. Yeah, all the team, you all need to win. You all yeah. need to see yourselves. Yeah, you know, that's important. Good all the all the biggest artists you see, they got a big team around them. Like Drake, the OVO team, like Jay Z and the Rock Nation team. You see even mm. Stormzy and mm. his team, oh, like, team. Yeah, oh, the market team, like man. flips and all them man. Like even Dave mm. and that. Like you see, they've all got and they've all got people that do different things. You know what I mean in their camp. So mm. it's important, man. That and just focus and keep going. You know them ones. That's what I always believe in. Just keep going, man. Keep working hard. At the same time, you know, it might be challenge in this era and in the my yeah. guy my guy era to yeah. find the right team for you that's true yeah that's that's why a lot of them i think that like, even stormzy his team's like his family and friends mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. so that's that's probably the best way i think so you you mentioned drake as well what um yeah. what do you think of drake his involvement over here well you know let me just put out a disclaimer drake is like one of my favorite artists of all time so i'm probably the wrong person to ask <laughs> me to. i'm like bad i'm a big drake fan but yeah. uh what i think about what like him uh like work do you remember like in the uk he bring in uk artists out and it's gassed on the uk scene, like, <laughs> yeah i i what do you i i respect it because mm. i think he's i've seen him big up uk artists from years ago from like Sneak Bo yeah. to, to um, Gecko, I think you even mentioned Odd Ads. He was listening oh, yeah. to artists before they were popping mm -hmm. um, and then started working with them slowly. I remember, who was the first he worked with? I know he jumped on the Dave Wanna Know joint. Um, then, um, that. They wanna send for me. 
Do you know what yeah, that's um, that's the Dave one. Eh? That's the yeah, Dave yeah, one. Yeah. Was that one of his first yeah, UK yeah. collabs? It must have been yeah. something before that. He must have done like a tweet or a shout out. Or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. what was his first collab? Because he, then he started putting out the joints with them. That might have been one of the first I heard. But from when I heard that, I was yeah. like, yeah, he's ready now to actually fully mm-hmm. embrace. And then I think he's done it naturally, if mm-hmm. I'm honest, from like 2015 to now, uh, only now bringing them out. And like, oh, yeah, like yeah. the transition's been quite smooth. Like, they, they, they know, London, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 and they're, and they're similar to us from what I've heard. Mm. I've never been to Toronto, but Tory Lanez has said it. A lot yeah. of the artists over there have said like their culture is similar to mm. us, like, yeah, I hear that. Quite yeah, a lot as well. I know a girl out there that said she believed that Skepta mm. is bigger than Tory Lanez. What, oh, wow, out here or out there? That, that's what she in, like, in her person. What she that believes. is nuts. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Thinking, you know, Tory Lanez, yeah, Tory like, Lanez like, you know, super, yeah. Yeah. Skept is bigger because yeah. to her, Tory Lanez is just. Tory um, from the yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, wow, people might, but that's probably how people might think of artists. Art, art, artists, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, because I mean, Tory Lanez got something with Dappy at the moment. Nave like, Smalls as well. Yeah, Nave Smalls. Yeah, oh, Smalls is lit. Nave Smalls is one of my favorite at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's mad. Like it's like. So how do you think that you know our scene is being perceived by the outside world? I think that we're probably the biggest influencers right now, mm. personally. I think that's due to obviously people being able to watch all the music online. But I've seen like us, there's a big tune in America right now. It's a, it's a drill tune, yeah, mm. from an artist in New York. I can't mm. remember his name, but it sounds like UK drill. It doesn't yeah. sound like like Chief Keef kind yeah. of like drill. It's UK drill influence. And there's Australian artists that are doing that sound. Oh, see You've that seen still, that? Yeah. There's, Sp- yeah. there's Spanish yeah. artists doing UK dr- like UK sounding drill. Yeah. Like we're probably one of the biggest influencers. Then you got like Nate Smalls working with Tory Lanez, and they're doing like the more Afro bash- yeah. bashment style, like. And then obviously Skepta, ASAP Rocky bringing that kind of. I think we're the right now. People are paying attention to what yeah. we're doing. If I'm being and honest, wireless tore it up, boy. Wireless. Some of the people that had on wireless. Future took bought out crept cones. Like he bought out bare people. D block as well. D block Europe. Like mm. he, who? Future. Oh, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm yeah, saying? Now, Future wouldn't have done that years ago. Like, no, no. they're paying attention. And we could pick up Drake for that as well. Like, he's making other US yeah. artists pay attention yeah. to what we're doing. So, I reckon it's the biggest it's ever been. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Global attention. Global attention, yeah. You know? Yeah, 100%. Africa, yeah. You know, they're loving up the UK. Skepta out there, yeah. Notes out mm. there, yeah. I think this is the biggest we've been ever. Did Burner Boy win a yeah. Awards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burner yeah, yeah, Boy. Did, yeah. And I mean, even that. Be at the BT Awards where the other mm. week, all the UK artists over there, Steph London. Yeah. Steph London's a star, man. Like, she's she's global. She's gonna be global, quality, yeah. So I think personally, like, I think we got a rate Drake for doing that. Obviously, I think we put in the work as well mm. for us to to bring the attention to ourselves. But Drake has also helped um, bring a lot of attention to us, man. Mm. To, to some of the artists, like, yeah. especially when the US artists are coming over here. I know they're like, who can we check for, like? Who's Drake co-signing and you know them ones? I think. I reckon he's just a fan naturally. Yeah. yeah. Same. And yeah. It shows like what like you said, going back to like the evolution of the UK scene to where it's got to. It's mad. Drake's probably been watching it from for the past like you know ten years. And yeah. He's seen the evolution. Yeah. You know, exactly. From you know as a yeah. fan. Yeah. So it's natural that he's gonna big everyone up. Yeah. Well. Remember when him and Wiley were going back and forth that, yeah. not long ago? That was mad. I, uh, Wiley, um, <laughs> I don't think Wiley can go back to America at the moment. For I don't real? know if that's still active. Just like some tax stuff, I think. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it's like... That might have been a while ago, but... Um, wow. What, yeah, tax evasion thing, yeah? Yeah, because uh, America... Bro, if you don't pay your tax in America... Just yeah. don't, just don't go there. Bro. Yeah. They'll throw you in jail. It's not like over here they send you a bit few letters and that. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. <laughs> then you go jail straight to yeah, jail. Just... You're living in the states. No, no, no. I'm, I've been there a few times. Obviously on vacation a couple of times. Mm-hmm. We filmed one. I've never been to New York. I want to go to New York. We filmed yeah. one of my music videos, "Falling in Love" in LA. That was Sick. cool. But apart from that, no, I've never, never really done much out there. So when you tour and stuff, what sort of countries do you go to? So during the summer, obviously I'm gonna do all the party islands. Ayanapa, yeah, IB for I'm in Ayanapa doing a pool party uh, in about a week, I think. And then Tenerife, I, I usually have my resident pool parties every month. Mm. And then yeah, just all the summer islands with their Cavos. Um, and then obviously just throughout the year, I'm everywhere in the UK, man. Still doing a lot of the DJ stuff. I'm doing a lot of DJ sets. Um, just trying to incorporate that a bit more into what I do because I started out as a DJ. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then I kind of stopped as I was more of an artist, but I want to do it both at the same time now and just be like that whole brand like Khaled or Calvin Harris or... Yeah. You know, so ones. I remember, I think, didn't you used to be a Tiny Tempest DJ? In the yeah, that was years that ago. Was, yeah, that was, like from the get-go, that was at the start, yeah. When Tiny, after he put out Wifey and he was doing, he done another rhythm, I forgot what it was called. Uh, tears. Um, tears. Tears. Tears and all that, that tears kind of that time, way. yeah. Um, I was DJing for him and we was just doing shows and show bare under 18s up and down the country and I was his DJ so yeah that was kind of what got me into wanting to write because I was like yo this is nuts Tiny's getting bare love like the girls are going mad yeah I was like I need to get on this wave get on this thing yeah so I just went home and started writing and just become a rapper overnight that era that generation as well like the under 18s even now yeah they're quite influential yeah because yeah. they're the ones that always like, know what's on up media, yeah yeah they know, they what's, know what's going on all yeah the, all the, it's all about their kids you need to know like my sister's yeah. like 21 yeah and she tells me like everything this guy's popping or oh, bro like dead or we like this guy yeah or whatever you like know? i'm on instagram every day yeah even though we're trying to get away from the social <laughs> i'm on the gram every day yeah? yeah but i'm paying attention to artists like i'm looking for new artists and i'm always around in my studio or mm. not working with young singers or new rappers like and they show me about what's going on they bring that young energy to what mm. i'm doing i think that's how i've been able to kind of try and keep maintain. up and maintain and stay relevant because if the minute you keep out of the loop of things i yeah. think you start becoming irrelevant and you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to stay on track you know them one so, so when you were like um to dj on the islands the party islands yeah you like to see like yeah what's gonna go mad yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that helps a lot as well like um even when i'm in napa next week i think aj and dino are there yeah. as oh, well yeah, yeah, but i'll go. see yeah i'll see the reaction of how mad they're going and I, like i napa's probably not that young they're probably around about 1920s but yeah. they're still the young yeah, crowd yeah, yeah, yeah. and that yeah i'll drop some tunes i'll even test out certain songs or see what's popping and you know what i mean i can have fun with it now man which so. is the most popping though Ooh, you know what? They're all different, yeah. Cause like IB was more commercial audience. I feel mm. like, mm. cause it's more that's a house island, isn't it? They play mm. predominantly house music, um. But it's lit there, though. It's mm. still lit. Mm. But I'd say like Iron Apple is mad, you know. Iron Apple crowd, yeah. Like years ago. Yeah. I what year? What year? Napa. Back in the day. Back in the day. Nah, must have been. Two and thirteen. So yeah because it's different now because yeah. you remember there was that um soul solid crew and heartless crew era of napa yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like yeah. more garagey that was mad that's um, all house yeah now it's just not even house but it's just more commercialized but they learn they know how to have a party like yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. but they're all the same zanti kavos they're all just party islands man falaraki Fal- 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 yeah bulgaria, bulgaria sunny yeah, beach yeah, yeah. you've been there yeah no. Bulgaria's mad, you yeah. know. Bulgaria know how to party. I forgot about that. Yeah, my sunny beach. For my stag still. Someone told me they went to Poland for their stag. Oh, for real? And they're like, they're just like fully on. Like they've got their own like reggaeton, their own grime yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah That's what I'm mad. saying. That's mad. It's well, even, I've, yeah, I've heard, I heard, um, oh, well, Fresh Island, Yeah, Fresh Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go to Croatia. Even um, this year, look, bare people in Malta. Was like, oh, is it? Yeah, there's bare things going so it's on. Like there's something happening everywhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's lit. Yeah. And like, like, like I said, like you can go. I can go to any place, and I'll hear. Like I was in Amsterdam mm. a couple months ago, and I'm just hearing bare like Fredo playing that like, everywhere. Like, yeah, shows in Amsterdam yeah, yeah, like we're global yeah. now. Like it's mad. Yeah, it's like, easy for them to get Euro tours, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the um, oh my festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that one the other week? Was yeah, that yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah. Yeah. But bro, like when I came out. We were popping in England. We had England on Smash. Mm. And the furthest I probably went out to musically was like, aside from the party islands, was like Sweden mm. um, and Germany.